Hey everyone, we are live at five here at Broadway.com headquarters. It is Wednesday, Valentine's Eve. Is that a thing? No. February 13th. I'm Paul Wontorek. I'm Beth Stevens. And over there we have Caitlin Moynihan. Hello. Wearing some merch. Here we I go. Like it. We're in the Broadway.com New blue. merch. Uh, and someone we really adore is here today who's suddenly very busy. I'm glad I'm so excited we got we got to book her. <laughs> Jenny Barber's here. Jenny Barber's here. From she is off Broadway right now in, by the way, Meet Vera Stark. I knew you were going to say it and like that. And then she'll be in All My Sons. we love, All My, all my sons, sons on Broadway. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot to talk about and new motherhood and things like all kinds of topics. We're into it. Uh, we'll get to her. First, today's top five. Some new faces are heading to the Emerald City. You know what I love is when the wicked people send us press releases that say, New Citizens of Oz. That's what we're talking about. New Citizens of Oz. You know who's a former citizen of Oz? I do. Who? Today's guest, Jenny, Jenny Barber. Barber. Thank we you. love a circle. Glinda. We, and we love a tie-in. Let's talk about the, the Broadway <laughs> cast. Uh, Michael McCormick will take over the role of the wizard beginning on February 18th, taking over from Kevin Chamberlain, who has sat in this very chair. Has he played it before? Has he played it before? Has he played it before? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> These are questions that can only be, be answered. He's great. He's great. Uh, and Giselle Jimenez. Who is fantastic. She's fantastic. Uh, you know what? We had a, so I first met her a year ago when we were doing our spring preview because she was in the, the musical with Daphne Rubin Vega. That's right. At the public, which That's is fantastic. Right. And then she went into Avenue Q. And now she's on a she, roll. That's and now great. She's, she's a fantastic. citizen Broadway of Oz. She's not, she hasn't played Mimi yet, though, which was what Daphne said she should play. So anyway, oh, just throwing it out there. Good point. Um, uh, she's playing Nessa Rose, and she yes. begins March 12th. Which so is very different than Mimi. <laughs> it's a little different from Mimi. <laughs> less, speaking, less choreography. Speaking of Mimi, today is the anniversary <gasps> Of Ren. Look at how I've tied in something that we forgot to mention at the opening, top of the script. Opening. You are so good. Off Broadway at New York Theater Workshop in 1996. That Wait, that's, yeah. that can't be true. That's what it yeah. says here. Opening. It didn't open, Off Broadway. Uh, in February. I think I, you have your stuff. I'm just reading what she just says. I, I was told that. I saw it in January <gasps> Off previews. Broadway, and I saw it a few days after it opened. In, in January? Mm -hmm. I thought it opened in January too, but well, I'm just going to look that up. I thought it was January 26th. You look so. that up while we keep doing the yeah. news. Hey, she's going to Google that. But anyway, Daphne, <laughs> Rent. We can talk about Rent any day. It doesn't matter. Uh, anyway, that's who will be yeah, Wicked. in Oz. Back to Wicked. Back to Wicked. They are going to join Jessica Voss, Katie Rose Clark, and Ryan McCartan. Who's, who's also, yeah, he's back in the show. Yeah. He is back in the yeah. show. Yeah, awesome. And one of our stage and screen favorites is heading back to the stage for the first time in quite a while. This seems like an understatement. It says award-winning actress Maggie Smith. Oh no! That's like the understatement. Oh no 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 no! no. <laughs> I mean, she's won like many ruler awards. Of she's the a universe, very fancy, Maggie Smith. Very fancy, acclaimed actress. Dame. And uh, she's, a dame. she's going to the stage for the first time in twelve years. That's a big deal, you guys. Um, she's in a new play by Christopher Hampton, who's a great writer because he wrote *Dangerous Liaisons* he and did. *Les Liaisons Dangereuses*. And uh, he wrote the screenplay for *Atonement*. Did you know that? I did. And did you know he wrote *Sunset Boulevard*? Did you know I interviewed him? Did you interview him? I so did. Beth Check does her research, so I'm just it. telling her things she already knows. He also um, translates a lot of French plays. He also wrote this new play called A German Life. Um, it tells the story of Brunhilde. Oh, her name is Brunhilde. You're so, <laughs> I love I that, love that name. This is new information. Brunhilde <laughs> Pomsel, personal secretary to Joseph. I don't. I refuse to learn how to pronounce Nazi names. What's oh. his name? Gobbles. 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 I refuse to learn. Doesn't matter. Um, so anyway, it's a Nazi thing. Yeah, and it's, it's about testimony she gave to a group of filmmakers when she finally broke her silence before her death. So mm -hmm. it's Nazi. It's Nazi stuff. It's going to be heavy. Yeah, it's going to be dark. This is not like yeah. one of those Maggie Smith rom-coms. It's not Lettuce and Lovage, guys. <laughs> it's not Lettuce and Lovage, <laughs> which, by the way, yes. <laughs> is one of her many... Uh, it's her Tony Award. She won a Tony Award in 1990. Wow. I was in the audience when she won her Tony Awards because I skipped the senior prom to go to the 1990 Tony Awards, Aww. a story I often tell. You do. And I was there, but I was, wasn't really rooting for Les Lovage. I was rooting for... You were rooting for Grand Hotel. Thank you, Beth. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> <laughs> anyway, this is too much information, <laughs> not about information. the play. But uh, did I mention it's called German Life? It starts at London's Bridge Theatre on April 6th, an opening night, April 12th. That's really soon. I hope she learned her lines. Maggie Smith, she's got it. Pro. <laughs> <laughs> and some of our favorites are doing an Actors Fund one night only special show. This is a trick. Are you ready for the trick? Yep. The name of this is Show of Titles. Which I got confused because they just announced the title, title of show, show is coming back. 
you know, I love the Actors Fund, but they're tricking you. I'm just, I'm just telling you. <laughs> and by the way, the Actors Fund is not just for actors. I just want to say that. It's True. a wonderful, wonderful they organization. This will be at 54, Feinstein's 54 Below. Mm. I'm going to say the full name. It's called Show of Titles, which is a trick, an evening of title songs from musicals remembered and forgotten. Which has got to be one or the other, first well, of all. I going to sing Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> it's entirely possible. <laughs> That's funny, it's entirely I possible. Over your joke. That you was did funny. step on my joke. Let me tell you who uh, the actors who are involved, because it's a great group of people. Listen to these lovies Gideon Glick. Oh, he's uh, great. See? Rebecca Naomi Jones, who we also love. Re- Rebecca Luker. Christian Dante White, who, by the oh, way. Oh, another tie in. Another got a lot tie in today. <laughs> he just, f- just for Valentine's Day, he serenaded all of us with On the Street Where You Live. Yes. From My Fair Lady. You can so watch it on Broadway.com. On Broadway.com. Beautiful rendition. Samantha he's Mas- in, yeah, he's in I'm going to go on with the names. <laughs> Samantha Massell. Alicia Umfress. These are all our people. Yeah. Uh, Alexandra Silver, are, Melanie Moore. Who is Will it, our people? Trice, that's true. Let's not Ellie listen. Little and John Cullum. So it's just star studded. Mm-hmm. This will happen on, when will it happen? February 25th at 7 o'clock. Soon. But who directed it? But who directed it? And will also perform. And will also perform. Another friend. Adam Cantor. So that's why the there are site. so many Fiddler people in there. See? I get it. Mm. And I think it is. Isn't it all title songs? So it could, so Sunset Boulevard might be in there. Is Andrew Lloyd Webber listed? <laughs> no, do not. You wanna, I'm not going to listen. But there will be a Sondheim that. title song in it and a Charles mm-hmm. Strauss one. Annie, Annie, Annie. Fiddler on the Roof, is that a title song? No. Okay, no, just checking. Do you really Annie. not know that? I do know that. <laughs> not I, was, a I was just asking. <laughs> Annie. I'm sassy because Jenny Barber's here today. I mean, I haven't seen the Yiddish version. Maybe they added it. <laughs> in Yiddish, <laughs> that's what it is. You're right. Thank you. Tradition. I had a lot of caffeine today. Oh, a lot. Gosh. Yeah. <laughs> Two former co stars are reuniting for this fun concert. This is just adorable. Best news we ever. love Sherry Renee Scott. We love Norbert Leo Butts. We love people with three names who were in shows together that we <laughs> loved. And these two, they did the last five years together famously. Very famously. That album, top five mm-hmm. cast recordings ever. Jenny Barber's Nodding. Mm-hmm. Um, Dirty Rotten Scoundrels, another fantastic love that. one. Um, maybe not top five, but like maybe top 23. I don't know, but it's a great, it's a great what? album. D- David Yazbek. <laughs> what did he do? <laughs> Tony Winner and Tony Loser. Tony Winner and Tony Loser. He wants us to keep Acknowledge calling them both. All. Acknowledge anyway, they, um, they haven't done anything together in a while, mm-hmm. um, and now they're coming together at Fine Science 54 Bullet. This is a very exciting news, for, very exciting news for musical theater fans. They're doing a run from April 26th to May 2nd, and Todd Almond will be the musical director. She, he works with Sherry Austin. Um, th- I will definitely be there. Me too. Can't wait. And we got stickers, (laughs) y'all. I don't know how to react to that. But we love you. And it's Valentine's Day and Galentine's Day because that's apparently a thing. Oh, it's a thing. So Broadway.com has launched a brand new sticker pack app. These are words I've never said before together. (laughs) By the way, two male friends of mine texted me and asked me if I wanted to have a Galentine's Day. Is that a lot? Is that? I feel like that's just stepping on it. It's for women. Yeah. That, yeah. Just say no. Um, okay, anyway, there are 19 Valentine's Day themed mm-hmm. stickers. Why don't you explain this a little bit because I'm not a stickers sticker Stickers are something person. you do when you're texting people. Thank you know, you. those cute animations. If you, if you, when you're texting someone, go to the bottom, go to the little app store, and then type in broadway.com. And, and there's amazing, that's a Sunny in the Park with George themed yeah. sticker. You know who was in Sunny in the Park with George as Celeste Number 2, the pivotal role of Celeste Number 2, <laughs> Jenny Barber. She's laughing at that. I thought she was great. Um, <laughs> We got and uh, there's Every great stickers. Every role she does is My, they're all, These are all uh, romance themed, but we're going to keep adding more. Some mm-hmm. of them are anti, like we have one of Kelly O'Hara screaming, I hate men. I sent which, that to my sister. By the way, you'll get that joke <laughs> after you see Kiss Me Kate, which starts tomorrow at That's Studio right. 54. There you go. Uh, we did a lot of like side promotion <laughs> <was> today. <laughs> we're giddy because Jenny Barber We have to here. get to Jenny Barber, yes. like honestly. Yeah. She's being very patient. Uh, thank you, Beth. Thank you. Go download that app. I'll teach you how to use it. Happy Galentine's Day. (laughs) (laughs) I appreciate your help. Caitlin, tell us more about today's guest. Gladly. Yes, we have Jenny Barber in the studio with us today. She's currently starring in the first Mm -hmm. revival of Lynn Nottages. By the way, meet Vera Stark Stark off Broadway, and it officially opens on Tuesday. Super exciting. Uh, She's been seen seen on Broadway in Wicked, Sunning the Park with George, Annie, the 25th Annual Putnam County Spelling Bees, The Performers, The Nance, and... She's going to be back on Broadway in All My Sons this season. Once she's done with this, she's a busy gal. She's booked and busy. Um, <laughs> her screen credits include The Electric Company, Elementary, Unbreakable Kimmy Schmidt, mm. and more. Follow her on social media and stay up to date on all things her life at Biddy Barbs. And leave all of your com- questions in the comments below. Please welcome Jenny and Paul. <laughs> 
Thank you, Caitlin. Oh, you're welcome. I realize Beth always says, thank you, Caitlin, and I forget too. Thank so you, I'm going to start saying, thank, thank you, Caitlin. Oh, I appreciate thank it. Thank you, Jenny Hello. Barber, yes, for being you. here. This is so different from the last time I oh, was yeah, here. Oh, yeah, yeah, we glanced it up. What, what, oh, it's a nice. glow up. It's a 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 glow up. Michael Campagno from the Share Show said it's a glow up. It really <laughs> is. It's a glow up. And I feel like I'm going give, to give the weather or like, you know. We couldn't have you back without building a new set at David Corns. Don't expect it every time, though. How are you? <laughs> I'm so good. How I, are you? I'm so, I was so excited to see that you were uh, in my calendar today. Yes, so, I'm in your calendar. So excited to I'm see you. I'm so great. I'm good. I'm uh, busy, busy. By the way. Uh, meet. You're off Broadway yeah. meeting Vera Starr. <laughs> I am meeting, I meet her every night. You meet her sometimes every night twice and she shakes things she up, shakes honey. She shakes things up. It is crazy. <laughs> you by play. The way. All right, let's get to it. <laughs> I, I saw the original production. Stephanie J. Yes, Block played your role. She did. Speaking of yes. the show, show, everything's a tie in. Yes, it's such a tie in. Um, uh, making out with Michael Campagno every night, mm-hmm. who's the glow up guy. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gloria Mitchell is Gloria your Gloria Mitchell. It, now yes. she is. I remember she has like a mansion. She's a mansion, right? She's a she's a star. <laughs> she's she? she's, she's a well, you know, it's described Actress. actually as an aging Hollywood uh, uh, ingenue. So you know, aging ingenue. Uh, aging <laughs> aging ingenue. Uh, yeah, who's kind of holding? She was America's little sweetie pie, and yes. she's uh, trying to um, uh, be in this movie that right. that her aunt ends up Vera Stark also was in, mm-hmm. and um, it changes their lives. Mm-hmm. It's like a for, really lighter yeah. version of uh, Gloria Swanson. And it's like it, it is a comedy. It's a it comedy. is a comedy. Remember, it is yeah. a comedy. Um, yeah. yeah, and it's got the screwball sort of satire to it, and then the second act kind of goes into a whole different direction. Uh-huh. It time travels. Mm-hmm. It so time you'll travels. see me yes. a little older oh, as well. Okay, mm-hmm. I'm into that. Yeah, it's great. Um, and who? And tell us all who Vera Stark is. Oh, Jessica Francis Dukes. Oh yes. Oh, played by Duke. yeah. She yeah. she she is my maid. Yeah. And she ends up uh, getting out an audition for uh, this show. Show. But Gloria doesn't Gloria's, like that so much. You know, she's not super happy about it. <laughs> um, <laughs> but you know what I mean? She has to like, she finds her in. Uh-huh. Yeah, and we make and we make a movie. And there is, you will see a movie yes. on stage. Yes. There's it's, a movie. It's a really cool. It, Lynn Nottage wrote this play and it's really cool. Two-time Pulitzer winning. Thank you for reminding Lynn Nottage. me. Beth usually is the Let's, reminder on that. Oh, no, I just have to say because she is a, she I is a treasure. Two time, yeah, too, two times. that doesn't happen. Two times. Often. No, I know. It's crazy. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, and did you, so, and you are also in All My Sons. This is, this is a, I'm this is one of those moments <laughs> that actors have to really sort of take in, correct? Oh, when yes. You, when you know your next yes. job while you're in your current fantastic job, oh, that, I, that's a beautiful. Mm, immensely blessed. You know, Andrea Burns, you know Andrea yes, Burns. Yes, of course. Um, she, she of the Jason Robert Brown last five years. Am I trying to do a tie-in? I yeah, don't yeah, know. It's fine. Um, it's, it's working. Fine. It's fine. Not really. Okay. Uh, parade, wow. I don't know. Um, she said to me, oh, I just had a baby last year, and she said that every Every child comes with a loaf of bread under its arms, and I feel like I've got two Aww. with this show and the next. A child comes with a loaf of bread. That's yeah, so sick. like a job, ja- you know. And she's yeah, just so so. I, I had a baby, and I think that I know you're a things new mom. are better. I'm a new mom. It, it, it's just all happening. Man. You hear that in my voice? Yeah, I'm a new mom. <laughs> Ohio. I'm a new man. So you're balancing it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Is it hard to go to the theater every night? And was it hard to sort of make that move from like spending every moment? Yeah. 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 Then... It's really hard. Yeah. It's it's amazing. I mean, you know, it, it's nice to have adults talk to you and, um, you know, not have somebody like grabbing you at every moment. Okay. Those are nice. It kind of feels like a vacation, <laughs> actually. Um, but it is hard because she's just growing so much and she's changing. And she like, I FaceTime her at, um, at a act right in my break in Act One and my break in Act Two. Uh-huh. Um, if she's not in bed yet, <laughs> and it's hilarious because she's obsessed. She like loves the lashes and the face, and she is like, ma- she goes, she says, "Mama," she thinks she's Mama, mm. but she's not. She's mm. Arden. Um, <laughs> God, it's her I don't name. Know if she figures it out. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. And she started walking, which is started walking information last that I'm going to share because yeah. it's exciting. Yeah, it's very, it's very exciting and very terrifying. But it's great. I mean, I, it is. Uh, it, it, she, you know, she makes everything better. So you get to be in. By yeah. the way, wait, Vera Stark. It's just one of those titles I like saying. I like, I just like saying, there's a lot of different ways you could say it, right? By the way. Your audition literally could have been just like, say it 10 different interesting ways. By the way. (laughs) (laughs) It's a good acting By the way, um, (laughs) BTW? Oh, I love it. I don't know. Did I get 
get the part. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, great. That's why you're such a good actress. <laughs> oh, yes. Um, so you get to be in uh, two time Pulitzer Prize <laughs> winning, winning, winning the which is a revival of her acclaimed yes, play. Yes, yes. And then while you're teching that, yes. you find out, oh, hey, by the way, you are going to be in that starry Broadway revival of Arthur yeah. Miller's All My Sons, directed by Jack O'Brien, co starring Annette O'Benning. <gasps> Annette O'Benning. Annette Benning, but O'Benning. That's how excited I got. <laughs> By the way, can you tell Annette Benning that I'm obsessed with Bugsy? I love Bugsy. The ending, though, I you need know. to watch it again because okay. her final moment, the she's final amazing. five minutes of Bugsy, is like she's she should have won two Oscars. I'm yeah, just no, she's throwing a it genius. out there. She's genius. She's I love incredible. her. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. So this is a and, and now Ben Walker. We found. I mean, it's yeah. like the, the whole cast just yeah, got the announced. Whole cast. Are you excited for that? It's a beautiful cast. It's yeah, a, it's an amazing yeah. play. Yeah, it's a great play. It's a great cast. I love Jack. I did the dance with him and. And I think he's wonderful, and I'm I'm really excited to be in the room with everybody. By the way, you've been in, yeah. you've done so many things that I love. It's kind oh, of like certain people's so credit. Nice. Like the Nance was fantastic. The, Nance. the performers. <gasps> oh, tie in. By the way, beat Vera Stark original cast Daniel Breaker, oh. who was in the performers. Yes. Who and and you know, the performers was written by David Rest Reed. Yes. Who we now who who is the, one of the head writers at um, Schitt's Creek and also has written and Juliet, which is going to be in the West End very soon. How about that? Yes. Do you know I didn't make the connection that that's him? I'm sorry. Oh, I it's him. Congratulations. I know David. By Reed. the way, I finally completely binged Schitt's Creek because so like good. I was a little slow on it. Yeah. And I mm -hmm. finally just mm -hmm. did that moment. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. no wonder. No wonder. And we're no all wonder. very excited about no uh, wonder. This, this Juliet. I'm so show excited about Anne Juliet. Do you know about? Do you have inside information about it? I just know it's amazing. I already know it's amazing. <laughs> so, and some great songs are in it. Oh my God! Wait, what? You Get know, ready. Right? Get ready. Because also, it's the I best. kind of just pine for a performer's something like some. I know. Like, just, I know. I know. I it wish. It didn't make it, but it was I one know. of the funniest plays I've ever seen in my life. Thank you. I think so too. Yeah. You know, but it, anyway, whatever. We can't always. Every time we meet, we can't just talk about this flop I know. show. That but everyone's been doing ahead. very well. It's not like anyone. You know, yeah. everyone, it, it's gone, it's gone. I don't know, the show hasn't gone on, has but a lot of great, everyone else has But gone. a lot of great love for it. Um, <laughs> yes. Yeah. And then that's something the park with George. I, you know, I yeah. saw another tie in. I saw Jake Gyllenhaal off Broadway yeah, last night. Yeah, did you see it? How his, was it? His new play. Yeah, 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 uh, yeah. He was fantastic. Oh, yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. I'm yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, He's great. And you were in Sunday the Park with George. With I was. Him, and you I was. Uh, played Celeste number two. Celeste number one was Ashley Park. They were, Correct. They were a crazy pair, crazy kooky pair in the park. I know. Pair in the park. I know, kooky pair in the park. And yeah. uh, and Annalie, Annalie Ashford, another oh, new mom. She uh, she played Dot and Marie, and you actually didn't you cover for her too? I did cover her. Did you yeah. go on? No, no, okay. no, no. Yeah, no, no. I don't think anybody. We had a couple uh, understays, but nobody went on for. Do you want to give your old lady Marie? Do you want to do it right now? Or no? Oh gosh. Probably probably well, I mean, listen. I'm doing. I'm doing old lady in You're doing act old lady two. Now? See, you never so know. I don't want. I don't want to cross. You know, I'll, I won't. Won't be in old Gloria. Old Gloria. She's still in there. We're some previews. You're doing the same thing. Act two older. <laughs> act Look two older. <laughs> yeah, actually, it's got a similar kind of like you know, mm -hmm. yeah, trajectory mm -hmm. actually. It's but it's different. Mm -hmm. But but different. So is there going to be? But a... David Turner's in it too. Who was in Sunny in the Park with George? Oh my God, the tie-ins. He, are I know the tie-ins. Everything's. But this is what the <gasps> theater is community is like. Everything no, it's is linked, just a small right? World. It's, mm -hmm. it's so true. Like everything yeah. Yeah. is linked. Yeah. Yeah. What else do yeah. I want to talk to you about? Oh, well, who? Well, let's talk about Lydia and All My Sons. Who is she? She's like she's really oh. like happy and. Oh yeah. All My Sons is a drama. It's a drama. You're going to do some comedy now. <laughs> yes. With some dramatic undertones. Yes. And then you're doing some yes. drama with some comedic, comedic. moments. And I'm sort of the comedic. And you moment. are like yeah, sort of the, 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 the yeah. right, right? Mm -hmm. Lydia's sort mm -hmm. of like the neighbor. Yeah. Like she has like three kids. All American. She's like all American. She has yeah. Mm -hmm. She's yeah. the former flame of George Deaver. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's lovely and funny. I don't. I'm not in rehearsal yet. So. Right. I have no right, idea you're like I don't know be. what it is. Maybe like it's gonna be super high concept. Be, so Who knows? Meet Vera Stark is now going through March 10th. Okay, so it, it, it we're in previews right now. We open officially February 19th, and that's we, next week. That is next you week. Know your, you know your Tuesday. Lines. You mean you're already doing it? Mm, I think okay, so. You're, no, I know you're pretty lines. good. I know my lines. I know my lines. You know, okay, I went to the University of Michigan. What are you gonna wear? Do you wear like when you're doing like an off-Broadway opening? Do you know what you're gonna wear to the opening? Are you gonna? Like, I do. Okay. Yeah. Well, because yeah. you know what, we have a fabulous cast, and everyone's very. Very so you have to stuff fabulous, yeah. Yeah, um, yeah. yeah. I mean, Jessica Francis Dukes is starring in Vera Stark she, as Vera Stark. She's incredible, and she's you know 
I mean, Cara Patterson, Heather Alicia Sims. I mean, these ladies are fancy, mm -hmm. and 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 so I have to make sure I'm not like dead mom, which is my normal look. <laughs> Normally, like I like like you look at my shoes right now. It's it's depressing. <laughs> <laughs> Literally, I had to like wash. I washed my hair today. It's really yeah, it's you really look great. Day. Thanks. Yeah, yeah, you look great. It's for you. No, oh, and for this. Well, sex. you didn't even know about the glow up, but you still did I it anyway. I know, I know. I appreciate that I know, about yeah. you. Yeah, so we open soon, and the show is the play is really beautiful, and it's directed by Camilla Forbes. Yeah, tell me about who her. Who is um, a genius? Yeah, she's a genius. Yeah, she's awesome. She's funny. She is um, super smart. I think that this is the start of some many things she's going to be directing. In what New is the City. play Not like? Start, really telling us what is it? I mean, it's obviously a little bit of a satire. Oh, by the Hollywood. way, yeah. Um, it's <laughs> We're meeting Ferris Stark. Yeah, um, you can yeah. Like as many no, interpretations of that as you want. You know, it 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 is it is a <clears throat> conversation really about um, these stereotypes that started in Hollywood in the 1930s, mm -hmm. and um, how really they are still in our in our culture today, and how we're constantly up against them, and especially you know um, actors of color and women, uh, female mm -hmm. actors of co color who are battling you know these ridiculous stereotypes that you know have been supported by by this, um, this institutional racism. Mm -hmm. And so, um, you know, it is a comedy, but it, it, you know, comedy is how that stuff gets in and you hear it. So I, uh, yeah, it's, 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 it, it, I learn something new every time we do it. We all do. It's compelling, it's emotional, but it's also really funny. The way she's written it, it's like a screwball comedy. Yeah. Yeah, but there's some, there's some real meat in there. Mm -hmm. and yeah. Tell me again who's playing Vera. Jessica Francis Dukes. Yes. Yeah, and she, she's fantastic yeah. in the role. She really carries it. I mean, it's, yeah. it's Sinai Nathan did it originally, yeah. mm -hmm. um, and it is a it's a it's a tour de force, honestly. Mm -hmm. So, but it's great. It's so great. Please, please come. And audiences are are really really loving it's at it. The signature Center. Signature it's Theater Center. Yeah. By the way, very comfortable. Seats. By the way. And <laughs> It's Ooh, very comfortable, that. and it's like a great little like like <laughs> yeah. Well, during intermission, yeah, there's like a time cafe. Jumps. There's While a she's bar. getting into her old makeup. You oh can have yeah, a nice coffee. Oh yeah, and I play like an alcoholic, like boozy old dame in the second act. So like you know, drinking is great for <laughs> seeing the show. <laughs> <laughs> oh, when I have a full white pantsuit. Oh, oh in the second bonus. act, fringe. It is an age makeup. <laughs> It is something special. It's a little Marie of Act Two, but Marie's like 100 years old. Um, <laughs> this one's only 70. <laughs> um, I'm hogging you a little bit because people probably have questions, and, oh, yes. and sometimes no. I look up at the clock and I'm like, oh wait, that's right, it's supposed to be an interactive what question. Are they, what questions? Hey, Caitlin, are they what are people asking? Uh, yes. Um, so Kristen would like to know what's it like to get to collaborate with so many incredible women on By the Way. <gasps> oh my goodness, uh, a dream come true. Um, after we had a rehearsal, our first rehearsal we had, I think there were, I don't know, and most of the there's mostly women on the creative team as well. Mm -hmm. um, I think there was a room of like 12 women, maybe one guy and I got goosebumps I was like this is I can't believe I get to be in this room um it was exceptional and you know really smoothly everything goes very smoothly and very quickly mm -hmm. and very efficiently um and uh yeah no it's fantastic and you Camila Forbes is also um she's a three-year-old so um mm -hmm. having her as a mom and Lynn Nottage as a mom I just kept asking them a lot of questions about just being a mom <laughs> <laughs> and being a mom artist. And, you know, they had they were really generous with me. And, oh, we had a day where all the babies came. Aww. Oh, and they played on the set. And Clint Ramos, who was our um, uh, yeah. scenic designer, yeah. who's also a costume designer for, for Sunny in the Park with George, um, his little baby came too. <laughs> oh, my God, it was the best. So, yeah, it was it's amazing. Do you like stepping in and sort of, Meeting these show families, yeah. and you have, yeah. you have a lot of show families now. Lots of show families, and then yeah. some of the. How does that work over time? They I mean, cross like, over. I'm, I'm doing these are different show families. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Some stay, <laughs> and some you know retreat. Um, right. But you know, it, it, it makes it. Um, it's nice. This is a community. We yeah. built it. And, um, yeah, especially now everyone's having kids and having, you know, and, mm. and living lives and, and, you know, has pets and has, like, you know, these really incredible multifaceted lives and get to enjoy that. Also, I keep hitting this thing. I'm so sorry. It, it, it makes this idea that, like, competition and this idea of, like, oh, well, they're doing that, that it, it just really kind of goes away. I mm. mean, everyone wants to work, but mm -hmm. everyone will work, you right. know? Right. Truly. Who was so. your first alpha by? I always forget people. My very yeah, first. first. Oh, Christine Dwyer. Oh. Yeah. Fantastic. Yeah, she's amazing, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. She's poof. Yeah. Dynamite. Do you have, do you have, any, do you have any Glinda friends or Glinda's like Annalise? Annalise is like one of my oh, friends. Oh yeah, Annalise Ashford. Are you Hi, kidding? Annalie. 
Oh, yeah, yeah, the I best. Oh, um, I mean, you know, and all the girls. I mean, yeah. all the girls. Yeah, like, it is a wicked. It is a wicked family. Yeah, it's a wicked family. But Annie is like, I just. I, I saw her. Her. I'll, I'll plug her Lincoln Center Life from Lincoln Center performance. Did you see her yes. concert? Oh, yeah. uh, it was so good. And she is such a genius. And she has so much heart. And I cried. And I laughed. And. God, she's the best. She's genuine. I love her. She's the best. She's the like, real deal. She's, she's totally yeah. uh, who she is. I yeah, she is. You know she's I mean? a, she, everything. Yeah. 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 I, People think I love like her. she's putting on what she is, but no, that's the, no. She, she's a hundred percent magic. Like yeah. she says, magic, magic in every. Magic. Yeah, she's the best. She's the best. Magic. What else, Caitlin? Julio. Yes. So this could this will have to be our last question. Yeah. I know. But Alexandra says, inquiring minds want to know what's an interesting <laughs> fact about you that we wouldn't learn just from looking at your career so far. Oh. Inquiring <laughs> minds want to know. Gosh, what a looking at my question. Career. I know. I know. Alexandra. <laughs> uh, oh my god! I feel like I'm pretty transparent. Um, oh, Gilly, I don't know. Tell me something Secret about skills. your childhood. My childhood. Yeah. Oh gosh! Um, I used to hide in the dryer. You were the what? <laughs> I used to hide in the dryer. You used to hide in the dryer. Yeah. That's oh, I'm a cancer. Uh, uh, that's like my you got sign. The door, you got the door shut in the dryer. Oh yeah. And they would be looking through you, for you throughout the yeah. house. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now that you have a kid, you're probably like that was terrifying. Terrifying. Like, that was terrifying. So horrifying. Terrifying. Thing. It's the worst thing in the whole wide world. <laughs> Because it's funny, because I'm actually, like, I lo- I'm a performer. I love being on stage, but I actually really, d- I'm, I'm, I'm a very, like, I'm, uh-huh. I, I like to kind of interesting close up shop uh-huh. a little bit in my real life. In the dryer. In the dryer it's sometimes. It's kind of like how dogs like being in crates. Like, you feel at home and, like, I feel the, really comfortable yeah. in a really small you space. You know, I, 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 there was once a neighborhood <laughs> search for me when I was a little kid, and was I was there? under the, I was inside this table oh. that somehow opened up, and <gasps> I was underneath it, like a coffee table. Oh, my gosh. And it was like a neighborhood search. Oh, my gosh. And they didn't gosh. look in the table. Oh my gosh. Yeah. Oh my gosh. So it's like the dryer. Yeah, no, it's terrifying. It's terrifying. Yeah, but I don't at the know. Time, we loved it though. I think I was I just know. napping. I just want some quiet. No, I like a small space. A small I space. Know, just, just, everyone just be quiet. Just just a tiny space. <laughs> but I never have any quiet to, my, uh, to myself anymore. <laughs> ever. Never. Never. My daughter woke me up this morning going like, ah, ah. Maybe in like 17 years. Never. It'll <laughs> and it'll be like, please hang out with me. I'm so cool. I used to be on Broadway. Like, don't you want to hang out with me? Yeah. <laughs> She's like, Mom. By the way, Jenny Barber, I adore you. (laughs) And I'm so glad you came in uh, and I got to see you again. And we're going to be seeing a lot of you because you are in. Give me another reading on the title. Mm, By the way, Major Stark. Um, is that the signature you center should. on 42nd Street? Great coffee and drinks. Yes. Uh, it plays through, you said it opens next Tuesday. Opens next Tuesday. It plays Tuesday. through March 10th. March 10th. And then April 4th, you're back on the Broadway. Oh my God. <laughs> and soon. <laughs> I gotta get a sitter. I don't think I have one. Okay. In all my sons. (laughs) (laughs) It's gonna be good. Thank you so much. Hey, Caitlin, why don't you take us out? Yes. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today. We are live at five every single day on Facebook. You can listen to this in a podcast version by searching for a hashtag live at five and hitting that subscribe button. Be sure to tune in tomorrow. We talk to the tour and Broadway Simbas.